track the mainstream media sounding the alarm following Trump's withdrawal from the climate accord, pushing death, destruction and other apocalyptic scenarios. Coral reefs would bleach out in the oceans and get this, Jake, low lying countries such as the Marshall Islands would disappear entirely. So will that really happen? Will islands really disappear because we pulled out? Or is that just a big myth? Here to separate fact from fiction is a member of the Trump EPA transition team and author, Scare Pollution, Stephen Malloy. Nice to see you this morning, Stephen. Good morning, Clayton. Thanks for having me. So just on that issue alone, the Marshall Islands are going to disappear now because we pulled out of the Paris Climate Accords. Is that accurate? <laughs> well, you know, sea level is rising in some Marshall Islands, but sea level is also falling in other Marshall Islands. So what's really going on is a geology. It's not global warming. All right. We've heard stories about Miami, <laughs> Miami Beach, water washing up onto the main streets of Miami and parts of Florida will soon right. be underwater entirely. Right. Well, Miami Beach was built on a sandbar 100 years ago. And that's guess what? Sandbars shift. They erode. Um, there's no it's no surprise there's water there. All of Florida is sinking from groundwater use, subsidence, land use. Uh, that's happening at the Norfolk Navy Yard as well, all the, way, all the way up and down the East Coast. All right, let's hear from former Secretary of State John Kerry on this. He was sounding the alarm bells about your children and what their future looks like. Listen. Has now put America last. So he is not helping the forgotten American. He is hurting them. Their kids will have worse asthma in the summer. They will have a harder time having economic growth. Uh, he's made us an environmental pariah in the world. And I think it is uh, one of the most self destructive moves I've ever seen by any president in my lifetime. Self-destructive. If you go to the NRDC's website, the National Resources Defense Council this morning, I just did and look at it right there's a big ad on the front page of it in order to raise money to fight Donald Trump and what he is doing to your children. What do you say about right. that? Well, carbon dioxide doesn't cause asthma. If it did, uh, we would all have asthma because we exhale carbon dioxide and, uh, and much more of it than is in the atmosphere. That's just a ridiculous claim. Um, air quality does not have any effect on asthma. Uh, asthma is, caused, caused, is an allergic reaction is caused by allergens, not carbon dioxide. The ACLU also tweeting over the past few, uh, few hours saying that this, uh, this pulling out of the Paris Climate Accords is racist and that, in their words, black and brown people disproportionately tend to live closer to coal power plants and therefore have higher uh, risk of asthma. What do you say to that? I would say emissions from coal plants don't have nothing to do with asthma. Uh, you know, poor people do tend to have uh, worse health problems, and that's because they're poor, not because of where they live. All right, Stephen Malloy, thanks for joining us this morning, going through thanks some of these things. We appreciate it.